Hey guys, Brooks and Christy here. It is a hot day in Pigeon Forge. And we're out here, we're, we're gonna help you fall in love with this video. And we hope that this video will get your vote because we're gonna show you the sights and sounds, pumpkin luminites, and we have the 2024 Harvest Festival Tasting Pass. The only thing that we're gonna be harvesting <laughs> is my organ to this video. Oh, because there is so much sweet potato on this, I have decided to deem this the tasting pass of death. <laughs> Come along, let's see if this video really does get your vote or not. Who approves this message? Dollywood. The kids and the grandbaby and John will be along as well. So let's get going. take a look at some of the sights and sounds of Dollywood's Harvest Festival. Bubbles! Bubbles! Hi! Bubbles! Whoa, Whoa dude! Bubbles! First up on our Harvest Festival tasting pass is the Market Square. Uh, Brooks is excited to try the cinnamon sugar hush puppies and hazelnut dip. The kids are going to try the succotash with the sausage. And uh, John and I are getting some things from the culinary booth. I'm going to try the apple cranberry sweet potato, the pumpkin pie punch, and, and John has opted for the French onion stuffed sweet potato. All right, here with the fam, everybody's trying something on the tasting pass. I wanted to try the apple, cranberry, and pecan stuffed sweet potato, and the harvest pumpkin spice punch, punch I think is what it was called. I'm gonna start with that. First of all, it smells like Thanksgiving. <laughs> Oh wow. Mm. That's actually really good. A lot of pumpkin. A lot of spice. Everything nice. <laughs> and it's cold and refreshing. It's got cold foam on top. And there is actually pumpkin puree in there. Okay. Which is kind of crazy, but it's good. At the end of this. Alright, sweet potato. Okay, so I was kind of looking forward to this. Now, Brooks is not a sweet potato man, but he's going to take one for the team and eat some sweet potato stuff tonight. Yeah. First of all, I don't know what the sauce is that they put on top. It looked like maybe it was a sweetened condensed milk type deal, so I'm kind of building a bite here. <laughs> Look, it's got actual cranberries in there. Anyway, so that's really good. <laughs> if you love apples, cranberries, and pecans, mix in some of this sweet sauce and this the uh, sweet potato. That was good. Really good. Okay. And I think this is $13.99 normally. Yeah. So this is worth using a tasting pass on. Yes. I like it. It's good. We bought the pumpkin spice punch separate, right? Yeah, because it's like five dollars. I'm gonna swirl the pork on this because I that's yummy. Okay. That's like a dessert potato. <laughs> okay. 
All right, Brooksy, you were curious about the cinnamon sugar hush puppies with the Nutella. I'm not sure exactly about those, but. All right, I'm gonna try it by itself first. <laughs> Hold on, Emily's making a face about the punch. That's nasty. See, I love it. Different strokes for different folks. This is gonna blow your mind. Really? Is it good? Yeah. Now I'm trying it with the Nutella now. Oh, you tried it. Oh. <laughs> oh no. I forgot how fast you were. I'm gonna show you something. Because while these are cinnamon sugar, look here. There's corn. It is a literal it's a corn savory. hush puppy. It's a savory hush puppy with corn in the middle. So it's a savory hush puppy, cinnamon sugar dusted, which gives that a nice texture too, a nice crunch. The problem is, is cinnamon sugar all over your fingers. Well, is it good? But the Nutella really makes it over the top. So while the hush puppies on their own are great, the Nutella takes that up a notch. Well, is it weird? I no, it's really good. Okay. The mix of savory and sweet. Nice. All right. So you think it's a winner? Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna try the. Uh, but that's unique. I'm gonna, oh, you. I'm gonna you, try yours. You want to try mine? Okay. I want to try the pumpkin oh, first. Oh, he's gonna try the pumpkin. Uh, Emily says that that tastes like if a pumpkin peed. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. So Emily says if, if you pumpkin, like a lot of pumpkiny spicy, if you would a like had it. Pumpkin a bladder. Got a kitty. <laughs> My daughter. So Harvey proud. Harvey peed in that cup. I'm so proud. Harvey peed in this cup. Just says. <laughs> Harvey the pumpkin. <laughs> Harvey, go, so, go, go, go. The pumpkin took a leak, <laughs> and I'm taking a drink. <laughs> I like the foam on top. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I actually really like that. I did too. I thought it was really I really good. like that. I, I know that sounds weird, but it's I think something Em's about that. I'm not a big that. pumpkin spice person anyway. Yeah. Okay. So if you're a pumpkin spice person, you would really like the pumpkin spice punch. Okay, Brooks is going to eat sweet potato, you guys. He's taking one for the team because there are a ton of sweet potato themes and he hates sweet potato. Yeah. It's like the tasting pass of death here. <laughs> okay. So I've got a little sweet potato, I've got apples, I've got cranberries, I've got it all. <laughs> Malachi would love that, it's baby food. It is not. It tastes like baby food to me. <laughs> well, is it bad? But Do you like it? There's a lot of sweetness going on. Yeah. That might be a it's little a too sweet. potato. Yeah. I, I don't know. I think the, the, something's taking it over the top, but I'm not real sure what it is. It doesn't need Your something. Your face tells me you don't like it, so just say I don't care for it. I mean, I don't care for it. Okay. Bye-bye. So the kids have the succotash. How is it? It's good. Is it good? It's flavorful. And you have the French onion. French onion soup. Sweet potato. We so much enjoy looking at all of the beautiful crafts and offerings from the artists and craftspeople that are here during the Harvest Festival.
are back at the seasonal culinary booth in Rivertown Junction and we've all opted yeah. for the maple pork belly and sweet potato skillet as well as the chicken and smoked sausage gumbo. All right, Brooksy baby, you got a chicken and sausage gumbo. I'm gonna tell you that looks like one of the best things. Chicken and sausage gumbo, baby. I've seen so far. I got a good bite right here. It's got a really good flavor. The only problem with is I have no texture. Okay. I have no texture in there. But let me get a little bit of the sausage right quick. Is that grits? Yeah, that is grits. Okay. Yeah. Chicken here. It has great flavor. It's just really missing that textural note. That's other than that, that's a great, great gumbo right there. Honey, what do you have there? I am coming at you with the sweet potato, baby. Nope. Baby, am I your sweet potato? Uh, you are my, you're my yam. You're supposed to say I am. I am. Oh no, you yam. You yam, I am. <laughs> anyway, this is the maple uh, pork belly. You're my sweet potato. And it looks like there is regular arse taters, otherwise known as white Irish taters. Looks like there's cranberry, sweet potato, regular potatoes, and pork belly. The pork belly is the maple glaze, correct? Yes. Sweet taters are good. Cook nice, soft enough. Oh wait, that's apple. Oh, it's apple, okay. It's not arch taters. Okay. Okay, I'm going for the pork belly. Yeah, I'm gonna give that a shot. I don't know if you would like this because it's got that sweet. Well, I'm gonna try it with And the... it has sweet potatoes. Right. Yeah, what do you think about that? Is that a. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's. Is it. I mean, that's, that's really, really good then. I like the mix. You like the mix of everything? Mm hmm. Okay. Not too much. It's, it's just right. I actually think it's balanced nice. It is balanced I nice? I like the balance. I don't know if you would because of your aversion right. to sweet potato. Yeah. But I like it. Oh, okay. and the gumbo? I thought the gumbo was great. Okay. <laughs> okay, he is going for sweet potato two times in one night. This is a miracle. I am what I am. I don't know. I am what I am. That's all that I am. You're not, you're not cringing. <laughs> <laughs> He's gesturing. It is really well balanced, but I gotta tell you, what's great about that? The sweet potato gets taken over by the pork belly. Okay, well that's true. So I almost don't taste the pork belly, or almost don't taste the sweet potato. They complement each other, dear. It's kind of like you and me, peas and carrots. <laughs> Peas and carrots. We got apple, sweet taters, and pork belly. So you think it's actually a thumbs up, don't you? I give that a thumbs up, yeah. Okay. So John also tried the chicken and sausage gumbo and the maple pork belly with the sweet potatoes. What did you think? They were both really good. Uh, I like the veggies. They were they weren't, they weren't mushy. They weren't hard. They were pretty good. Seasoned nice. The pork belly was really good. I'd say it rated right up there. And uh, and the gumbo was, was good too. I really enjoyed it. How about you? The chicken and sausage gumbo was good. I wouldn't say it was a gumbo, but it was good. Um, and the pork dish was the pork was really good. And and sir, what did you think of the milkies? He says plus. they were awesome, awesome milkies. <laughs> Our last tasting pass stop is at the Iron Horse Pizza. Across from the train, we're trying the garlic knots with pumpkin cheese sauce. That pumpkin behind me, eating the pizza. He's my soulmate. No, not really, Brooks is. <laughs> okay, John is going to try the everything bagel garlic knots with the pumpkin spice cheese. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Which definitely <laughs> sounds interesting. He did say they made them fresh to order, so. Kind of curious. Oh. They're definitely fresh. Soft inside, crunchy outside. You do taste the everything on top. 
How does this cheese? Cheese is actually pretty good. Is there pumpkin? Cheesy, but is it does it... have a pumpkin hint to it. That's okay. interesting. Okay, sure. cool. Yeah. All right. So they're very hot. And you love everything bagel. I do love everything bagel. So it, it looks like they probably make this out of their pizza dough. I'm hoping they're not frozen. Oh, baby boy over there is... He's getting excited. I almost can't touch that because it's so hot. So, I'm gonna give it a good dunk there in that cheese. I'm very, cur very curious about that. Yeah. Hey, okay, wow. <laughs> oh no, zombie babies trying to attack me. That is way butt? better than I thought it would be. Oh no, zombie babies. <laughs> They're yummy. Oh no, zombie babies. Are you going now? <laughs> Yay! Brooksy 500. It's time to head into Hoot Owl Holler and then we're gonna go see the Great Pumpkin Luminites. Are you my great pumpkin? Yes. I, I am. am. <laughs> I am. Did, what'd you think of sweet potatoes today? They're okay. You know what you look to me? What? Gorgeous. Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. This is really very, oh, yes, you're the ones. <laughs>
And closing us out, we simply wanted to show you more of the beautiful visuals that Christy got while we were inside at the Harvest Festival here for 2024 at Dollywood. And we know that once you see this, you're going to fall in love with Dollywood all over again, too. As far as the tasting pass goes, guys, I know I might have called it the tasting pass of death in the beginning, but even with all the sweet potato on this menu, there was absolutely nothing we didn't enjoy that we tried during the night. So as a family collectively, we can say the tasting pass, well worth it, and some great menu items. As far as the visuals of Great Pumpkin Luminites and the Harvest Festival as a whole, what a beautiful, beautiful setup Dollywood has this year. And we know that you're going to love it just like we did. So if you like this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you want to see more of Dollywood and all that the Smokies have to offer, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. That helps us out and makes us produce more great content for you guys. And make sure, of course, hit the notification bell. Ringy dingy school's always in with us. And that way you know when we've got new content posted. For Christian Brooks, Emily, Nathan, and John, and our little man, we want to say God bless you all. We love you, and we can't wait to show you what's next.